All right, guys, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to register a domain name, also known as a URL, which stands for Universal Resource Locator, a big word just for a web address, your website. Com. So, honestly, you know, a lot of people like to register like .biz and .co and .info and all these other subdomains. I really don't recommend it, especially if it's going to be your brand, because people don't remember that. You say, yeah, my web address is mycart.biz. It's just, don't, don't do it. What I always do, I always spend at least an hour brainstorming on web addresses and you can check to see if they're available so in the case of this I'm registering one for my brother well, let's go with wholesale it's all one word and then you hit search you let uh, the registrar do its business oh and it looks like it's available now let's say that it's not available let's do something like Google because we know that's taken if it is taken, it's going to tell you it's not available, and then it actually recommends some other options. So if you run into this, you just keep searching, just keep typing new web addresses in there until you get what you want. So let's get back to my wholesale. That's Emma Wholesale. Okay, now, uh, like I said, let's try to stay with the .com. It's just a lot more memorable. Um, I try to stay away from GoDaddy because one of my marketing mentors, uh, Michael Same, years ago did a launch. He had a spam complaint from someone who was promoting for him because they spammed someone, and GoDaddy just shut down his domain, just shut him down. He lost a ton of money. They basically shut you down and they ask questions later. So. I don't want to do business with people like that, and I don't imagine you would either. So it's already checked. Hit Add to Cart. Now a lot of these domain registrars are notorious for upselling you with a bunch of stuff you really don't need. Get one year of free personal email. Well, it's free. You know, if you're not going to do anything with it, that might be something good. Secure your website with an SSL uh, if you plan on actually taking orders and that might be something worth it. What's cool about Namecheap is that you get automatically one year of the Whois card which basically when you go to you can look up, here's how you look up anyone by the way whois.domaintools.com well let's just look me up this is the syntax you can always go and see who owns a website. In this case, you can see that the registrant contact is protected because I have who is guard. All this basically does is reduce the spam. It's spam because you'll you'll get a lot of spammy stuff. It's even got like your search engine results in here, registration. So it, it just kind of gives you a little bit of privacy. It's not completely necessary, but some people are private, so to each their own. All right, so <clears throat> whenever you register a domain, you always want to check your cart here because a lot of times they have one-click upsells, which they just add stuff in that you don't need. In this case, I think I have the domain in here twice. Actually, no, I don't. The second item is the free WhoS card. So let's go to checkout. And you want to create a username. Username. Let's go with, and let's make an easy password. Unsubscribe for that newsletter because I don't want it. I didn't type my password right.
OK, and then ask you to confirm your information. Now, personally, I leave the organization name blank because it's a bigger pain in the butt to prove who you are if you, you're a company. They require more information. So I just kind of leave that alone. I'm going to do your billing address, of course. Okay. Save and continue. It's already got an who is card enabled, so it basically gives you a little privacy there. I don't want to automatically renew that. You might want to. Now this is what's really cool. Your DNS name server is basically where you point your web address to your actual hosting service. Your hosting service is just like a telephone service. You have to pay for the service to host your website files somewhere out there on the internet. That's what hosting servers do. So the cool thing about this is I already have a hosting account. So I go ahead and I select this for my custom name servers. I use Lunar Pages. If you don't know what your custom name servers are, you can go back to the whois.domaintools.com forward slash your web address.com. You don't put in www. And if you actually go down to the bottom, it actually tells you your name servers right here. In this case, it's ns5.lunarbreeze.com and then ns6.lunarbreeze.com as a backup. So you can just copy that. Control C, come back over here and paste it in, Control V. Same thing, go back over here, go to your second name server, paste that in, and we're in business. Save and continue. Double check all your information. Let's do a new card. Type this in real quick. Okay. Hit save and charge. Only hit it once. You don't want to hit it twice because it'll charge you twice. And boom, we are good to go. The cool thing about me already doing my name servers is that now all I have to do is go to my hosting account and put a page up there. So let's do that. I'll just use this Lunar Pages as a demo. Log in, go to the control panel. Most shared hosting plans have a control panel. Some people may not have gotten it. You definitely want the control panel. It saves you a lot of headaches. All right, so in this case, we're going to go to uh, let's add on domains, which is probably right in front of my face. Here we go. So in a lot of these shared hosting plans, like Lunar Pages, I think it's like 130 bucks a year, but it's unlimited domains. All right, so you type it in, usmowholesale.com, hit tab, it automatically populates your subdomain, the document root. You have to do a password and add domain. 
So the control panel does the work for you in creating the subdirectories within your hosting plan. So we'll let it do its work. Now all you have to do is go to File Manager. So you can do it one of two ways. You can go to your File Manager through uh, your web browser here where you can upload a file. I'm just going to quickly um, HTML. I don't expect you guys to know this. I went to school for this. Just writing some sample HTML just to put a web page on there. This is well, welcome to US wholesale. Home page is always going to be called index. It could be, uh, well, you want to save it as all files. It could be .php, .html, .htm. We'll just make it that. Okay, so I've got a very basic, bare bones HTML file. I'm going to upload it here. You won't have to do this because you're probably going to use WordPress in which you just upload everything and I will be showing you how to do that in one of the other lessons. So now let's test it out. US ammo sale .com. Ta da! There you go. See? Pretty easy. Alright folks, stay tuned for the next lesson.